Hi everybody, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center. This week on Nature to Go, we're looking at some of Mother Nature's handiwork. It looks like she's decorating. Have you noticed where it looks like there's garlands draped on some of the plants? Yeah, we're talking about those things. It's called wild cucumber. Wild cucumber started growing back in the spring. The leaves that come up look a lot like regular cucumber, but we don't notice it until we get to about middle of August when there's those white flowers all over the place. Now, this isn't a tree, it's not a shrub, it's a vine and it attaches itself to trees and to shrubs and to flowers as it spreads itself wherever it can. Though it seems to prefer marshy areas. And this year we saw a lot of it around the boardwalk area. The leaves look a little like a maple leaf. It's got five different lobes to it. One of my coworkers described them as looking like dinosaur feet. And then the flowers are those white sprays you see. But what's kind of interesting is You'll see there are some white parts and then there are some little nubby parts. Well, that's because this plant has both male and female flowers growing off the vine. It's pollinated by a variety of insects. And after those flowers have been pollinated, what forms is where this plant gets its name. It forms this pod that looks sort of like a spiky round cucumber. Now in September, a lot of the flowers are done, and so you don't see the plant as easily, but what you wanna start looking for are those cucumbers, because what they'll do is they'll dry out. And that's where it gets kind of interesting with this plant, because the interior has four chambers in it, and within each chamber, there is a little black seed. They look a lot like watermelon seeds. And when the plant is dry enough, it pops open, and shoots the seeds out onto the ground. And then those seeds will lay on the ground, they'll get snowed on, and next spring, they'll start to germinate. Given how many flowers there were around this year, we may even have more wild cucumber next year. So in the meanwhile, start looking for those dried up pods. Go ahead and feel one. While they look really spiky, they aren't as sharp as you might think. Wild cucumber, another really interesting plant that's around us all the time, so get out and look for it. Thanks for stopping by and watching Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.